being a Kashmiri, there were many challenges for us to stay, to start the new chapter of our life in Kashmir, in Delhi only. So, crossed all the obstacles, all the barriers, and finally managed to join the Supreme Court of India in, on February 8, 2012. it's mandatory should be hang an experience of 20 25 years so that was an option left with me mm -hmm. i was not a senior i was uh, one of the categories of advocates simple advocate then i decided yes i have to qualify the your exam nutrition mm -hmm. he is himself a neighbor. he guided me very well and he kept checking my growth, my improvements, continuously directed me what to do, what not to do, what to read, what not to read, what to leave in my drafting, what to add to my drafting. Because drafting is the ultimate secret. If you have to qualify this exam, you should master drafting. I welcome all those who think that they deserving they have the capacity to establish themselves over here. I welcome them. I am here to guide them because my qualifying this exam, it can be a open a gate for other Kashmiri youngsters to come here to start practicing. Credit for my success goes to many people. First of all, it's Almighty Allah who has given me this success. After that, it's my parents, my brothers, who always encouraged me, who always backed me, my other relatives, they always supported me. My dearest friends, Amir Yusuf, is a very genius guy. He's also an advocate, very much hardworking guy. He was an inspiration for me. He always used to boost me. You should work more and more. You should concentrate. When I, I used to get disturbed from different things. I, I must mention the name of Mr. Sayyid Yasir Ali Jilani. He always made me to feel that I am in a home away from my home. His family member, they always welcome me as their own member of their own family. There are many lawyers in the Supreme Court like there is Dinesh Jodhwani. He has always supported me. Another man, Harpeet Averai, Sunil Fernandez, Danis Zubair Khan. There are many other people. The creator of my success goes to them also. And it's created some sort of fear, some sort of anguish in the people of the rest of the country. Kashmiris have been harassed in many places, but I strongly condemn that. This should not be done. We should have faith in our law and justice system. We should never take law in our hands and people should understand those Kashmiris who are working, who are studying outside the state of Jammu and Kashmir, they are not there to be harassed. They are not there to be terrified. They are not to create any terror, but they are either to study, either to earn their livelihoods or either to do their business. Judicial institution being one of the pillars of democracy, we should respect that. We should have faith in that. And the people also should not fall prey to the rumors. For the last many days, I have been getting thousands of calls, thousands of messages from different people asking about the status of Article 35 of matter. But it is in the court of law. People used to tell me that the court has said during the midnight and it has been abrogated. There is nothing like that. Court has, it is due process and procedure. Court follows that. And there is nothing special in this matter that it should be, it will be taken on priority during the midnight. No, that's not the case.